Hello, this is just a quick tip, Final Cut Pro 10.1 tutorial, taking a look at a couple of the new options in the Ken Burns feature inside of Final Cut Pro 10.1. If you don't know the Ken Burns feature, then this will be quite a good little tip for you anyway. So if we look to apply the Ken Burns effect, the way we do this is by selecting the clip that we want to apply it to, and basically I want to add a slight zoom out throughout the shot, I want the camera to be pulling away a bit more. So the way we access Ken Burns is we click on our um, configure tools here and we choose the crop tool and then this is going to come up with some onboard cropping controls one of which down here you can see is the Ken Burns feature so if we just click on Ken Burns by default it gives us a start and end frame you can see that it's going to start off with the image cropped this green zone you can actually uh, sorry, if you grab the green handles you can actually manipulate where this starts and finishes. I perhaps want to start it towards the bottom. And you can see that we that adds some animation to move the frame over to here and also to expand out to where the red is, which is basically the whole frame, essentially. Now, what's new here is the fact that we can right-click on some of these controls and we have some options that will control the pace and the movement of this of the movement essentially. So we've got an ease in and out, we've got an ease in, an ease out and a linear. What do these mean? Well ease in and out basically means you're going to start off at basically a stationary um, fixed point. So the start point here is obviously this green zone. You're going to start fixed on that for a couple of frames and then slowly pick up the pace with which we head towards revealing the full image. And then as it gets towards the full image, it's going to slow down the rate at which it gets there and it's going to ease into that final image so it doesn't just suddenly stop when it reaches there. And then the other two options then become self-explanatory. Ease in and ease out basically means it's only going to ease in, so it's going to ease into it but it will come to a harsh stop at the end. And ease out means it's going to start at full animation and then slowly go into the out. The other option is linear, which is the basically the default option that was ticked because there were no other options before Final Cut Pro 10.1 so that basically means it's going to start at a constant pace and finish at that constant pace as well. I'm going to choose Ease Out for the purpose of this shot because I don't want it to be overly noticeable at the end of the clip but I'd like it to get going fairly quickly. So now we can just go ahead and press play. And you can see it's just got this slight pulling away from the actor. As he turns around it allows us to see more of the full image, which is exactly what we're going for. So that's the brand new um, tidbits features within the Ken Burns feature inside Final Cut Pro 10.1. There will be some more um, advanced tutorials covering the final few features of Final Cut Pro 10.1 over the course of next week and the subsequent weeks. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon in a brand new Final Cut Pro 10.1 tutorial. Thank you.